So what about Ruby Rose though? You have a particular uh, uh, fixation on her? Yeah, I love that girl. She's my queen. Yeah, she's a baddie. There's no denying <laughs> it. But she doesn't do real. So like, you're, yeah. You're, no, I mean, I have every, I have every image and everything of hers on my OnlyFans account that I that I purchased. I guess supposedly. Okay. Yeah. No, I mean, I didn't purchase none of that shit. But if you want to beat off to Gina Valentina, you can watch a video of her slurping up nine in a row. Whereas with Ruby Rose, you don't even really get to see a right? Or are there in the DMs? No, I don't think there's in the DMs. Um, see, yeah, that's not right. I figured if there was that they would have leaked on Twitter already. Yeah. No, I mean, I know. They should be leaked on Twitter. You can't even see it on Reddit, you know? But, no, nah, I... I didn't purchase none of her OnlyFans content. Ruby Rose. Yeah. Okay. So this was all a hoax? I got in the situation where I just went and took a picture with Ruby Rose, right? Like, okay. I got paid for it. I didn't know exactly what it was for. You know, I think it was like a promo thing or something or whatever the it was, you know? And uh, I met up with her. I take this picture. Next day, I'm the top. I'm like the OnlyFans top spender. I knew there was like some kind of thing where there was like had to do with the OnlyFans top spender. But I didn't know what the f was going on, so they made it look like I was her top spender, you know. So they didn't had an fill idea you in gonna... on this beforehand. They you didn't say, get... "Hey, we have this big idea. This is what we're going to so do." So the we're idea fake was like they were like, "We're going to use your." I mean, they kind of let me know that I was going to be like this, like one of her like subscribers, I guess, on OnlyFans or something like that, right? I was like, oh, "Okay, that sounds cool." You know, I didn't know it was going to blow up to this big, huge story. You know, they said it was going to be big, and then, you know, I was like, "Okay, cool. This is kind of cool. Whatever." I was like, when's money going to start coming in, you know? Like, I was like, I want some money out of this. And but then, how are you going to get paid for it? And you're saying that they didn't tell you beforehand that this just, was going to be the storyline? Well, I knew there was this OnlyFans and, like, the person's the top spender, but I didn't know the story was going to come out to be bigger than what the story is now, you know? Like, where I'm, like, the obsessive guy who's in love with her and all So the $60,000 number was fake? It's a real account, but it's not me. So okay. it's like an actual account that's paid into Ruby Rose. So some guy did spend sixty grand on her. It just wasn't you. Yeah, it wasn't me. And at the same time, I'm like getting all this like hate and shit. So I'm like, okay, this is kind of getting weird. I was like, what's the next thing that's gonna happen? And then I I did say we should like get some kind of tattoo going. You know, like you know, like I'll get her name or something tattooed on me. I didn't think I was gonna get a portrait. Where's the portrait? On the back of my leg. Okay. So. Now, when that, so first I'm the, the top spender, and then it comes out to me being, I didn't know I was a Bitcoin billionaire, you know? I mean, I have, I have some money, you know, but I'm not like Bitcoin billionaire, you know? So I, the story's coming out, but I didn't I didn't hear about that side did of the story. Did you put that narrative out there, or did her and her team put that out yeah, there? Yeah, her and her team. I didn't know anything about that that part, you know? like and, okay. then, and then I go to the weed shop, right? And this girl's like, hey, you're that crypto billionaire guy or whatever, which I was like, okay, that sounds kind of cool. But then, also, you were on True Life fucking porn addiction. And I was like, "Yeah, I was? And then I looked into that afterwards. But so, this, this, Were you on True Life porn addiction? or Because no. I saw that, too. I saw that, that there was like a... like me, does uh, it? Oh, so that wasn't you at all. I saw the picture, and I just assumed that it was. Wow, yeah. is nothing real? Holy shit. No, so I mean, the te so I know about the OnlyFans account, top spender shit, kind of. But I didn't know it was going to be... As big as this was going to be, you know, I didn't even know what, what was going on. And then I get the tattoo, and then it turns out to be, I'm like some obsessive, like, stalker guy named Brandon, which was the guy on True Life, uh -huh. where he was addicted to porn. And that's why, like, in the messages, it says Brandon, only fan creep or some shit. I wake up, I see this this post, and it's like the tattoo one, right? And then I'm, like, seeing all the the text messages, and I'm like... I didn't even like read it. Like I seen some of it and it seemed like it was really bad. So I like just turned my phone off. Yeah, that shit was crazy. I don't know. Half like I don't know how they generated that message, but that shit kind of like made me go crazy for a few days. It was making you go crazy. Not crazy, but like anxiety, you know? So uh, it was well, like Well, okay. On one hand, it's kind of cool to be famous. Yeah. On the other hand, if they're painting a narrative of you that's totally different from who you actually are as a person, that's probably less fun. Yeah. Cause I mean there was all these different narratives. Like I, I'm a Bitcoin billionaire. I'm a porn addict. I, I don't know. Love Ruby Rose so much that I would get a tattoo of her. Uh huh. So, yeah. Okay. 
I want to speak to all the people out there who are looking at what you've just said and they're feeling kind of dumb because they're thinking, holy shit, I can't believe I got fooled. Nothing is ever real on the internet anymore. I can't believe that I got tricked. I was in the same exact boat. There was a guy, I won't say his name, but he's very, very high up at OnlyFans. Like he works in OnlyFans corporate. And he was here. Me and Lena were doing a meeting with him talking about some stuff OnlyFans related. And we obviously ended up bringing up your situation because it came out like that day. And the guy kind of rolls his eyes at me and he's like, yeah, that shit's not real. And I immediately felt the same way that everybody at home feels, which is I felt like a fucking dummy for falling for it. And even earlier that day, I had said to Lena, I'm like, you know how easy this would be for us to one up, right? All we got to do is find some guy who looks a little off and then make a fake screenshot that says that he spent $150,000 or $200,000 and we could kind of like leapfrog the news cycle and replace Lamar with some other guy and say, oh, look how much this guy. And, you know, it's like there's a constant quest to like fake shit to get attention in terms of OnlyFans. So I guess on one hand, we shouldn't be surprised. But on the other hand, damn, Ruby Rose. It, it made me tricky. think a lot, I didn't, too. I didn't know that you were going to bust that move out. Yeah, and, like, I mean, they were, they were like, kind of, like, hinting things. Like, it, they, when when the team was talking to me or the agency or whatever the fuck it's called, I don't even know what, the, what it's called. They weren't, like, telling me everything that was going on. So it was, like, I kind of had, like, after I was, like, realizing what was going on, I was picturing it in my head after a while. And I was, like, this is what they're doing. They're, like trying to they got the character which is me and then now they're gonna figure out something else to that's when the true life shit came in so now they were able to do this and i don't know you gotta respect it in a weird way but do you feel somewhat what like taken advantage of i mean once i realized how much money she was making off of this and i was like okay like i i when i got the tattoo they asked me how much i wanted for like her people her team or whatever asked me what do i think is a good price for the tattoo now i was like saying 15 to 20k you know because i feel i feel like i i knew it was going to happen with this i knew it was going to like go out of proportion and maybe it would make me look like a, I, I thought about it and maybe it was going to make me look like a creep and shit and uh but i mean i have the most random tattoos on my body that it i was like okay i could do this and i could still pull it off right and, um, and and down the road, maybe five, ten years from now, people are going to say, what's that a tattoo of? You're going to say, oh, it's a hot, light-skinned yeah, girl. Like, they might not even remember Ruby Rose. Although maybe ex. she'll also be, like, the most famous person in America. Maybe they will remember. Yeah. I'll just be like, that's my ex. <laughs> yeah, see, that's a good one. Yeah. She's dead to me now, though. Wait, really? That's how you feel? No, no, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. No, I mean, honestly, like, when I when I met her, she was cool. Like, you know, I mean, like, I know, like, her team's in on this, you know? So, I mean... I don't know if this, I mean, the way that she was to me, like she was super dope. They made me look like I was like, some, like I have like 220 pictures in my phone right. of me and her. So it's like they used one picture, makes me look like I'm a weirdo. Uh, but yeah, no, nah, I was like, I was hanging out with her for probably like two hours, maybe three tops. Uh-huh. Uh, we smoked. Um, what else? I almost tried to freestyle, you know, like a little bit. You freestyle? I do a lot. Yeah. There was also, okay, there was another round in this whole viral cycle in which there was a screenshot or a screen recording of a bunch of texts. Yeah. Right? Yep. And were those actually you? No. (laughs) That's why I was like, they used the Brandon weird OnlyFans guy or whatever, right? right? And And that, that was what a lot of people said was, look at this fool who spent all this money on this girl and she won't even save him under his real name she saves saves him as weird only fans guy and this basically prompted all of the red pill grifters the poetic flaccos of the world who you just met etc to all kind of use this as content because it fulfilled their pre-assumptions which is that the world is full of suckers who are basically being uh, taken advantage of by these OnlyFans girls. And when it comes to creating fake narratives in the public eye, this is what you want to do. You want to basically fulfill the the previous beliefs that people already held. And you were just sort of like a perfect stand-in for, you know, we know that all these people are spending money on OnlyFans. We don't necessarily get to see them. And the idea that you would spend, you had spent this insane amount of money was very, very captivating to people. Yeah, I've never spent a dollar on OnlyFans to this day. Ever? Actually, wow. you know, when you create your account, Technically, yeah, 
uh, I think it charges your card like a little bit. So I guess maybe I did spend like a dollar or something maybe on OnlyFans. Oh, it'll give I you have what? my own account. It'll like, give you like four cents and then you have to confirm by saying yeah. you got a four cent deposit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Some shit like that. So I've never actually had to deal with that, but I've dealt with it on other sites. Wow. Yeah, so. so, okay. What, like, I mean, what has it been like becoming this famous for, for such a bizarre thing? Like, what, what has this experience I mean, been like? Is, I it, still, is it bad? I was thinking in my head it might have been bad, but, you know, I got, like, some reassurance because people are like, your friends know that you're not this person, so just go out in public, you know? And I was like, I can't go out in public with, like, the way that things are making me look like I'm a Bitcoin billionaire, all this shit. And then, you know, I just went out one day, and it was cool, you know? I mean, people were asking me, do, you, do I know Ruby Rose, though? Like, I was like, yeah, I know. I mean, I know her, yeah. But have you told anybody about this being fake besides me? No, I mean, the, just the people that know. And, uh, I mean, even my aunt, she hit me up saying, you're spending $62,000 on this girl, and I <laughs> this is I have it in, like, DM and stuff. And I was like, no, I've spent more like 76000 now because I knew the money was going up and shit. So I've been playing the story, you know, playing along with it. Because I knew, like, I can't really tell anyone, you know? I have, like, friends from, like, 10 years ago hitting me up, like, all of a sudden, and then they're, like, Wanting to probably hear the story, you know, because they know that something's up, you know. Okay, yeah. And the crazy thing about it is that, on one hand, I'm thinking, oh, I bet they swore you to secrecy, but I bet they didn't, right? No NDA, no contract, <laughs> nothing. Like, and I was like thinking in my head, why? Like, why did they? Because do this? this right here, us having this conversation, if this clip right here goes viral on Twitter or whatever, it so doesn't listening. matter. It's actually good for her because she already got what she was hoping to get or what her team was hoping to get, which is a bunch of media attention. This right here is further media attention. Yes, it kind of makes her and her team look like they're kind of full of shit, but I mean, she's not the fucking president. She's the yeah. only fans chick. So it's like, is it really that bad a look? I don't think so. It's it's just another reason for everybody to talk about her. And I've seen this over and over and over where, do you remember when Black China was super viral yeah. for them saying she made $20 million in a month? And I remember sitting there looking at that thinking, no way absolutely not and then you fast forward a couple years and she's like reportedly bankrupt hopefully she wasn't making 20 yeah. million dollars in a month and becoming bankrupt now to be fair i kind of do believe the bad baby made like 18 million dollars in a month i've seen the screenshots that doesn't seem so out of the realm of possibility yeah but black china no i'm not having yeah, it I'm not, I'm not subscribing to that one either yeah